uiteenen. The Palos will start coming through thick and fast now to John Rookie, our winner, just being interviewed by uh, the legend that knows he has the key to Melbourne. Apparently, John Jacob himself, one of the owners of, uh, of Rapid Ascent. Number two, one and nine on the fifth. Let's welcome in Ben uh, Carrick. Well, I've been our second partner. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, today you can do individual races, so do just to paddle yourself or maybe just a ride, or we've got a few doing what's called the Warriors as well, so we'll be doing all four disciplines over the day. Don't forget to get over to a big nutrition as well. We get the two for 99, so two 900 gram products there for 99 bucks. That is an absolute skill. What a great success story that product is from the southwest here in WA. Now killing it all around the country. Right, well, looks like one of our warriors as well, Tristan Yuzwat, coming across the line. So he will now. That's not so much looks like one of our teams, Dean Gardner, actually, where he found his, all his gear. So Dean, one of the elite paddlers here in, uh, in Australia as well, mate. Great to see you over here at WA once again. How was the paddle? Uh, yeah, it was a uh, bit going out on the side. It came around here and come back and uh, put the wave on the rock out the back there. It was a good one and, uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, Pretty good fun, pretty good runs coming back, so you know, it's always good coming to space, I love it. And you've got an event uh, coming up with all the doctor as well, it goes from uh, right this off, uh, mainland of WA, how's things looking for that? Yeah, really good, I think. Um, we expect a really good deal, you know, maybe 4 or 500, and uh, we'd love to see people in the size coming out this year, so all the top guys from all over the world will be there. And, uh, yeah, it should be good, you know, with Serena, uh, Hands in the weather now, so we sort of wait and see what this drops over. Uh, and then summer pattern kicks in for the way, and we've got good sales. No, absolutely. Are you doing a great thing for the sport? You're a great ambassador for paddling, and nice to see you here at WA again. Thanks. One of the legends of the sport, Dean Gardner, ladies and gentlemen, as well, finishing up the paddle as part of his team. Yeah, I'm 
Let's welcome home Matt Cruz with one hour, 10 and 11 seconds. So we're talking about Pally. Don't forget to go see the crew from ZSS as well. You can check them out at ZSS underscore Pally Equipment on the big ram as well. If you need any info on boats, even if you're just learning to paddle as well, they can point you in the right direction. Over to the uh, Salmi tent as well, and there's a, uh, a competition going on there as well. All you've got to do is fill out a form, cost you nothing, and you can win a $100 voucher over there. 
So that'll be pulled out over the weekend as well. So why not wander over there, have a look at some shoes and clothing over there as well in the extra area and uh, maybe win yourself a $100 voucher for doing absolutely nothing but putting a bit of meat on some paper. Yeah, that's a good one. Here comes Jason Brunazzello now, number 32 from Albany at WA. This guy's just a machine. A virtual race or running race around. Nice solid battle. Jason with a time of 1.12.53. So Jason, one of the warriors, so what that means is he has done the swim, he's doing the paddle, he'll do the run, and he will do the ride as well. So obviously the person with the uh, accumulated fastest time will be uh, our champion for 2018. as well of course for tomorrow's event so if you want to uh not the duke survivor as yet but uh for the uh the mini tomorrow or the adventure race tomorrow you can go over and uh, sign up for that now as well Another one of our warriors doing the uh, entire four events. Jason, uh, sorry, Jonas of Blanford coming across 313. Well, that looks like he'd go again. Only got a run and a paddle to go, but I'm oh, sorry, a run and a ride to go. Here we go, Google Allen one to watch for the overall today, that is for sure as well, from NZ, one of the elite athletes we have here. I'll have a quick chat to Dougal, actually. Just get his breath. But Dougal, nice to see you, mate. You keep coming back to Augusta year after year. The question, what brings you back? Alright. Yeah, I think that's the area. Um, the area that's the beautiful area around the world. And the beauty too, you get some sort of place where the community are obviously crowded where they live and they invite you in. And uh, yeah, so really it's uh, the area. Mate, you're looking good as well. You're, you're, you're sort of getting some good results. You're fairly fit? Yeah, yeah, I've just done a couple of adventure races in China and flown across it here, so I think I'm racing it. Um, there's, there's not much ocean here than the Monica where I'm from, so 
So don't forget that the sunscreen, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, sun shining down as well. You're get absolutely fried down here in Augusta. So uh, there's plenty of sunscreen on the tables in the expo area. So uh, lather yourselves up and uh, re-lather every, uh, every three hours. And uh, rub it all the way in there either as well. So uh, just lather it on and uh, reapply every three hours. One of our elite female athletes here in the WA as well, Kristen. Welcome to you. Well, I have a quick chat to uh, to Kristen as well. How did you? Uh, how did you find out? So on the way out, was it sort of on the side or right in your face? Ladies and gentlemen, one of our elite athletes here in WA, nice to see Kristen here at North Aspen 2018. Good 
So if you have got any bike problems as well, if you head towards uh, Colour Patch along there about halfway along, there's some uh, kind people that will help you out. If you've got any issues with your bike before the uh, the ride today, make sure you get that sorted as well so you can just go well on the course. So just towards Colour Patch about halfway along. As you walk to Michael Swain and Jared and Ray. Well done to Dan Bayless, Adrian Nicholl and Brett Elderman oh. finishing up the paddle. This is the 2018 Augusta Adventure Fest. Don't forget if you are taking photos, ladies and gentlemen, whatever social point you want to stick the photos on, whether it be Instagram, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Facebook, Snapchat, I don't care, just hashtag Augusta Adventure Fest. Brett Hollands, a familiar face in this neck of the woods as well. We welcome you. So if you are in the run as well, make sure you've got your nutrition sorted as well. You can go and see the crew at the running centre or next door as well. Be the natural sports hydration as well. A great uh, Southwest company that is uh, absolutely killing it in the nutrition games as well. You can buy samplers. They've got little samplers you can test as well. So go over there. It's important to get the right nutrition in before you race, when you race and a post-race ball to recover as quickly as possible so that you can try it again and then that's how you become fitter. So go check them out with the nutrition. As you're welcome 
from the juvenile, Troy Sampton from Perth. Just over an hour and 30 minutes, so cracking time. It was a bit bumpy on the way out, water coming from everywhere, as uh, Christian just told us before. Congratulations to everyone that is finished. Don't forget there's uh, fruit for competitors as well, over between uh, Salmi and Bini as well, so if you have competed, make sure you go and get some of that fruit that you got. Well done to Doug coming across the line, number 24. Do you want to see the lunch one, ladies and gentlemen, as well? So plenty of food and beverages around as well if you want burgers, if you want any bakery food, a raw juice, so the raw life juice bar as well, that is insane, I'll give you the tip, I love a raw juice. Of course we've got uh, crepes as well, potatoes, everything covered as well, so well, why not sit back, enjoy uh, everyone coming in, we're going to be here till 6.30 tonight. <laughs> One of our female competitors now just gingerly walking across the rocks, number 11 on the bin. That is Alyssa Hughes from Alfred Cove in the WA. There's your Pete. All right, folks, so if you want to reward uh, your team members or loved ones with a rose as well, it's a donation that goes to the Carl McManus Foundation, supporting tick disease, tick-borne diseases research and prevention. So if you right near the ring between the registration tent and the rapid ascent merchandise, what a great idea as well. So just go make a donation, some beautiful roses there as well. It goes to the Carl McManus Foundation, supporting tick Born diseases research and prevention. So why not just give your loved one a rose? She'll be, or he will be stoked as well.
Well, I said if you've got three on, they're being or higher, so 300 up as well. They're doing the four, so uh, straight up now and ready to run the 17 kilometres, which is a magnificent, a magnificent rain course. So just a reminder, the first bus out to the lighthouse for the run will be leaving at 12.15 from a reception here at the, uh, at the caravan park. There's a welcome number, 207 David Elwood. Well done, David. Uh, McEwen now, one of our males at 8 foot 50 to 59 from New Zealand. Nice to see you at uh, number 8, Brad Johnson. We've got the jumping castle for the kids as well. If you want to get rid of your kid for a while as well, just stick them on the uh, on the jumping castle and go and get yourself something to eat or drink while they're bouncing around. Nice to have you there. Nice to have a little bit of support. That's what I love about adventure racing and all these outdoor sports. It much supports everyone at all. Yes, we have elite athletes like Google Allen and everyone else as well, but it doesn't matter if you have the fun or the fun. Everyone's got their own story as well. It's about completing, not competing for the majority of
Well, number 21 now, crossing the line. Let's welcome home Speed Wistra from out and up in WA. Number 21. So if you like a feature racing, we're just getting outdoors. Don't forget we've got a couple more amazing events put on by Rapid Ascent down here on the southwest. Late March, we have Exit Beach, which is an off-road triathlon style as well. You can go exitbeach.com.au. Also, the Margaret River Marathon, or Ultra Marathon. So it's 80 k's, you can do it in a team, a relay team, or you can do it solo as well. Nothing but fantastic and real positive feedback from the first one as well. So, folks, if you are looking at... Uh, Trail running and getting into it as well. It's a nice one to start up. You can do it in a team as well. So that is in early May. The Amaga River Ultra. Check out more details at mumpetset.com. What are you as we welcome home Ben Ashford? Hello, mate. How's that bit bumpy? Oh, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Where is it? Do you like all my feedback? Oh, what about this? What about the one? What the Another man with over 300 on his bib, which means he's got to run to go in a cycle as well. Let's welcome home Graham Kelly. So as I said before, if you've got 300 or above on the bibs, which means they're doing the warrior. So they've done the swing, they're going to do the paddle, or done the paddle, and then they'll do the run and the ride. Well, that's a nice run. Oh, 
As a welcome in from the Margaret River, let's welcome home Mark Williamson finishing off the 15th Cape Paddle. It's the 2018 Augusta Adventure Fest, my name's Rob Goyen. We're just finishing up the paddle now, we move on to the run, then the ride, and then the full adventure race tomorrow, and the Jeep the Survivor. Sean, how are you mate? Nice to see you. Paddle race mate. Flying race starts a bit later. Well don't be scared, you can come through if you want sweetheart. Come on through, we'll welcome you. You've got to ride though, you can't walk over the finish line. running over there at the 
uh, expo area, we've got nutrition, we've got anti-chafe, we've got shoes, we've got visors, we have everything. Make sure you head over there and check it out before you hit the trails. As we welcome, well, cutting to myself here, Brenton Downing. Well oh, done, Brenton, coming across the line under two hours. Now, just to remind, if you do need to shuttle bus out to the lighthouse, leaving the first one leaves at uh, two, sorry, twelve fifteen. So twelve fifteen, and it'll just be circling its way. There's a couple of buses going uh, regularly from twelve fifteen on. But I, I would suggest to get out there uh, as early as possible. And if you can catch the bus rather than drive, that would be great as well to try and uh, stop all the congestion out there. So I've just been told the bus 
So this is important if you're a spectator, the bus will not bring you back. So you're gonna need to take your car out. So runners and athletes can go out there as well. So if you do need to come back, you are gonna have to take your car out there. And just expect there might be a little bit tight coming back and there might be a little bit of traffic. So please, just be patient as you welcome great. So Grant Thomason from Holton in WA. So a reminder, if you are going out to the run, if you're a spectator, take the car out because the bus will not bring you back. It just drops the runners off there.
So if you do need to get the bus out to the start line, I'll start heading over towards the city. Just when you check in into the caravan park site. So if you do need to, uh, to get out there, get the bus as well. We're going to try and fit everyone on one bus. Obviously, if there's uh, more athletes that need to go out, they will bring in a second bus. But just a reminder, it is for athletes only. If you need to get out there as a spectator, you need to take your own car because the bus might be bringing you back as we welcome Claire O'Brien Smith across the line.
we're welcoming now, finishing up the paddle with number 27, Paul Free. This is 2018 Augusta Adventure Fest. My name's Rob Royan. We're coming to the final throws on the paddle with the uh, run. The tail run is starting at 1 o'clock out at the lighthouse. 17 cases of joy finishing up here. And then the mountain bike starting later on this afternoon.